I know a lot of women who'd like to do to their husbands what Jean did to Hi. Fortunately, not a lot of women carry around pistols in their purses. <laughs> I was very fond of Jean. I brought her down here for Christmas most every year. Over 14 years, I thought I got to know her pretty well. Lots of people like to talk about how funny Hi was, how, how charming. It's true, he was. But it was Jean who made him blossom. She never said a kind word to Hi. Not in my presence. Arthur, you know that's not true. Besides, Hi virtually ignored Jean once he took up with Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Jean, what are you doing? I wanted to see if somebody would talk to me. <laughs> I think I need some fresh air. We considered plastic surgery. Oh, that was right before that dreadful Christmas that she and I spent with Arthur and Vivian Schulte in Palm Beach. Happy New Year to you, too, Jean. What is it, Jean? You'll want to see this, believe me. Well? Jesus, I hope none of my friends sees it. I'm your friend, hi. And I see it. Why don't you suggest that she use the Goodyear blimp next time? I think it's available. I'll go get a broom. I'll help you. God damn it, Jean. I wanted to read that. Why Lynn phoned us at two in the morning to tell us about Hi. I wonder how she found out that night so quickly. I was asleep. You really never expect one of those wee hour phone calls informing you that, that your good friend's just been shot dead. When Lynn hung up, I said to Viv, well, if he's dead, why couldn't she have waited until morning? <laughs> 